Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 90 Know-It-All podcast. I'm your host, Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. And today, the regular season officially ended. We have playoff baseball coming in, starting in just a few days. And I don't remember which day that officially starts, but it is here. It is coming. But ladies and gentlemen, before we, we uh, jump into that, as I was logging in to, um, into my computer to get ready to start this, I saw the news that Pete Rose has passed away, I believe at the age of 84, and um, I'm going to admit this is not good for baseball. Uh, I know he was banned for life. I know the circumstances, both on his side and the other side of things, um, the fact that he's not in the Hall of Fame, you can make an argument both ways, but him passing away not in the Hall of Fame is not a good thing. I mean, whether you agree with the decision or not, in the end, it's not a good thing. And, you know, I think in the past I've kind of leaned towards him not being in the Hall of Fame because of what he did, but that doesn't make this a good day. Do I think that this opens the door for him to be in the Hall of Fame now? Yeah, I think it it might. I, I wouldn't be surprised if in another year or two he does get inducted to the Hall of Fame. Um, but either way, this isn't good. I mean, you have one of the most... Uh, prolific hitters in history of baseball, maybe not average wise, but he put up the numbers and he's not in the hall of fame. And so that, that it is what it is. I'm going to do another podcast, just talking about Pete Rose and kind of the impact of him in the game. But I'll say that for later on, but I did want to mention that, that as I was logging in, I saw that and, you know, we'll talk about it more. I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about it for the next uh, few months, a lot this off season, but let's get, let's, Jump over to actual playoff baseball right now because I'm excited because it is time for, for playoff baseball. And I will admit, I have not followed uh, Major League Baseball as in-depth as I have in the past. But I have done more watching of games, checking scores, checking highlights, checking standings this year than I had the last couple years, for sure. That's, that's beyond a doubt. Now, granted, a lot of that was me watching my... Um, favorite team, the Seattle Mariners, crumble and just fall apart the second half of the season. So, yeah, I got to watch that. But let's go ahead and go through here. Let's start with the American League, um, where the one seed's New York Yankees, two seed is the Cleveland Guardians. Um, now, I will tell you guys, I actually had to restart this podcast because I didn't call them the Guardians the first time. Uh, it's still weird for me to do that. Uh, but let's go. Number three is Houston. The Astros, number four is Baltimore, five is Kansas City Royals, and six is Detroit. And right off the bat, the AL Central has three teams in the playoffs. That is no small feat. Um, I remember it wasn't too long ago that that was the worst division in baseball without even a discussion about it. Like, it was just everyone knew. Even the team that won the division was usually bad. Um, but they made it because someone had to make it. Uh, I remember the days when the AL West was that way, pretty much. But yeah, the the Central is very, very good, very strong. The Twins were in the hunt to the end. Now, granted, I do know they have the Chicago White Sox, who are historically bad, um, not even AAA level bad, just bad, bad. So there's that, but at the same time, these central teams had to play each other. They played against other divisions. They did what they had to do to make the playoffs. And, you know, it's it's exciting. It's exciting to see KC coming at it again. Uh, they're a team that I've enjoyed. Detroit, um, you know, they were, they were not in the playoff hunt two months ago. They were not. And they had a tremendous run uh, this last month and a half or so. And here they are, the number six seed, which... So right off the bat, we'll talk about that wild card series between Detroit and Houston. And Houston's a good team. I mean, they always find ways to win. But Detroit is a team that I would be afraid to face right now. The Tigers have been so hot and so good the last month that they are just firing on all cylinders. 
So I will, I'm going to go out of my, I'm going to pick a, an underdog on this one, in my opinion, although I'm not sure how much of an underdog they are. I'm going to have Detroit Tigers beating Houston and advancing to the, um, the AODS round. So that's my first pick. I got the Tigers beating Houston. Um, the, the other wildcard series, the Royals versus the Orioles. This is a great matchup. I think I think this will be a lot of fun. I love the Orioles just because they have a young, talented team. Now, they have struggled a little bit the last half of the season, um, but they still made the playoffs. Your job as a team is to make the playoffs, and they did that. Yeah, they had some ups and downs in the second half, but they made the playoffs. They're ready to go. I think the Orioles win this one. I think it's the Orioles going. I think it might be tight. It might be a good wild card round, but it's still the Orioles. I think they're taking this one. Um, so let's jump to the National League before I go further past the wild card round. Um, today, the Mets and Braves had to play a doubleheader. If one team won both games, they were in, and the Diamondbacks were in. If the team split, then both teams made it in, and today they split. Um, you know, it's tough to win a doubleheader, especially when. You win the first game, which the Mets did, and then you don't really have to win the second one because you're already in the playoffs. So it is what it is. I think that both teams played hard. They did what they needed to do, and Braves and Mets both made it. But the first wild card matchup is the Mets and the Brewers, and I'm going with the Brewers on this one. I think the Mets have a tremendous uh, team. Lindor is just playing lights out this year, but I think the Brewers – are the team that uh, are, I don't necessarily want to say they're overperforming, but they kind of are. And they haven't let up all season long. They've had solid performances all year long. And I think they carried into the postseason. I think they beat the Mets. Uh, the Mets, once again, they're a good team, but I don't think they're making a run towards the World Series type of good. Now, I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't watched... Uh, a ton of baseball this year, but it's actually the Mets who I think is one of the teams I've seen the most this year. And they're solid. I mean, Lindor, like I said, has been great, but I don't see them doing what needs to be done to beat the Brewers. So I think the Brewers advance past the wild card. And then the other series is the Braves and the Padres. And this is going to be a fun matchup, but I'm going with the Padres. Uh, Chris Sale had to be pulled. He didn't even get to pitch today. He got, um, he was scheduled to start, but then got pulled from his start because of another injury. And as great as he's been this year, the Braves still need him. Like they still need him to be there for the playoffs. And I don't think he's going to be there. I think that as great as he's been, injuries are just too common for him. And I think the Padres take it. I think the Padres take this one. Um, so once again, I have the Brewers beating the Mets, moving into the NLDS, and the Padres beating the Braves to move into the NLDS. So uh, in the American League, once again, I got the Guardians and Tigers in, in that NL ALDS round. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the Tigers because they're so hot. Now, the Guardians did win their division, which includes the Tigers. Um but there's always there's always that one team that just comes in and starts to make a run. Now, I don't think the Tigers make the World Series, but I think they can win the wild card, and I think they can keep that momentum going and beat the Guardians. So I've got Tigers over Guardians, and then Orioles-Yankees. This is going to be a fun matchup. There's going to be a lot of offense, but... My AL MVP, Aaron Judge, is going to keep on hitting. He's going to keep doing his thing, and the Yankees are going to they're going to win. It's not going to be a sweep, but I got the Yankees in that one. So for the ALCS, I've got Tigers, Yankees, and jumping back to the, the National League, um, the NLDS. The first matchup will be Phillies and Brewers, and I'm going Phillies. I think that. I think this might be their year. I'm still hesitant to choose them as my World Series pick, but 
they're a great team. The Phillies have got a lot of things going right, and I think they beat the Brewers. Dropping down to the other NLDS matchup, that would make the Dodgers facing the Padres, and this might be the series of the entire playoffs. I don't know that either team that wins this automatically goes to the World Series, but I think that this matchup, the Padres-Dodgers, is going to be brutal. I think that both teams are going to get chippy. I think they're going to get um, a little hot, a little fiery, and it's going to be a fun one. I think in the end, the Dodgers offense just becomes too much. I think they can they can beat any team. Now, granted, I know that they have not performed well in the, in the playoffs. They haven't. But they are still an offensive powerhouse. And if that offense gets rolling, you don't need your pitching to even be great. They just got to be okay because you can put up a lot of runs. So I'm going Dodgers in this one, but it's going to be a hard-fought series, and I think it's going to get chippy. I think it really is. So now we'll jump to the American League, the ALCS. And right now I've got, like I said, Yankees, Tigers, and this one's all Yankees. At some point, the Tigers are going to hit a wall. Um, They're going to play well because they've played well the last month and a half. But the Yankees are my American League team that I think is the biggest threat to win the World Series. I think they've got what they need this year. They're playing well. They got the number one seed. So I've got Yankees in the World Series beating the Tigers. So we jump back to the NLCS. We got Dodgers, Phillies. This is going to be great. I love this matchup. Um, Teams that can hit. Teams that I don't necessarily like each other, but at the same time, they don't don't hate each other. So it's still going to be competitive. Not as chippy as I think the Padres, Dodgers would be. it can be a little heated. I think Harper and them can get a little heated if they if they need to. And in this one, as great as the Dodgers' offense is, I'm going Phillies. I think the Phillies have this one. Um, just because, I hate to say it, the Dodgers struggle in October. And I think Philadelphia is the second best team nationally, not just by what their seeding was, because they earned the number two spot. I think they're legitimately the second best. If the Dodgers falter, it's the Phillies to take. So that makes my World Series Yankees, Phillies. And I am not sure who I'm going to pick. Not sure. I may even hold off and see how the playoffs go. Um, But if I'm following my first gut instinct, Yankees win the World Series. And that hurts me because I am not a Yankees fan. Um, I love seeing the like, Yankees lose, but I've got Yankees winning the World Series this year. Now we'll see how well I did, and you know, in a few weeks we'll start seeing how different series play out. Um, but that's my pick, and I'm kind of sticking to it. Kinda, kind of, yeah, yeah. Yankees. I would, if I had my choice, if I had my choice on a World Series matchup. Though, I would love to see Baltimore Orioles and San Diego Padres. I think that would be the matchup that I'd be most excited about. They're not big name teams yet. They have some big names, but it it wouldn't be the greatest ratings wise. But man, Orioles Padres would be one heck of a World Series in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going with Yankees, Phillies in the World Series. Yankees winning. Um, That's what I got. I could be dead wrong. Heck, I might guess every one of the wild card series wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if I did that. But either way, playoff baseball is here. I'm excited for that. Should be a lot of fun. And you know what? Even in the last few years when I've struggled with my relationship with the game of baseball, during the playoffs, I always catch myself checking scores and box scores kind of on the down low. Like, I don't want people to know that I'm checking on it, but I do. 
I, I love the playoffs. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully I can watch some this year. I know I've got a couple streaming services that I think will have some games on them. I hope. I really want to watch some playoff baseball. If not, I may have to uh, to figure something out. But guys, with that, that's my predictions. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Um, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Please like this video. It helps me out. Get some more people to know what's going on. And heck, put down your... Uh, your guess is down in the comments below. So thanks for listening, guys. Once again, my name is Josh, the 90 Know It All. Until next time, get ready for some playoff baseball. We're going to have some fun.